Earlier this year, I talked about uh, a growth mindset for businesses. Now, growth mindset as an idea, as a principle, has been around for for some time, and it's it's you know well documented. There are many many books on on the subject, but a growth mindset within a business takes that a step further, and takes that and applies it to an organisation, a team, etc. But today, I want to talk about the growth mindset required of leaders. So the leadership traits of a growth mindset. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you of what I believe are the five key elements of the growth mindset within a business. First of all, there's agility, the ability to adapt and take on new challenges, new ideas, to experiment, fail and learn quickly. And responsibility. So be responsible for who you are, for your team, be responsible for for leadership as well within the context of what we're talking about today. So take on responsibility, take on and accept your leadership role. And learning and development. Set goals and make learning a journey. Make it a constant part of what you do. And as leaders, learning isn't just about what you learn, but it's making sure the team learns as well. Trust within a team, within a company, within an organisation is important. You need openness and as a leader you need to encourage and create an environment where there is an open discussion on ideas and where you can encourage people to develop ideas and grow and of course feedback absolutely important you know listen and understanding but but make sure that feedback is positive constructive but also moves things forward and that you have an open mind and as as a leader leader feedback is a, not just a good way of understanding what, what you're doing and the team is doing and how the individuals are doing, but also to find out how you're doing, how you're performing in terms of leading the team. So those are the elements of uh, growth in a, in a business, a growth mindset in a business organisation. Understanding then the things that make a good m- growth mindset business requires leaders who have a good growth mindset and good leadership traits that that empower growth within the company. And there are a number of of traits that that you require. Now, these are things that you can develop and learn. These are skills you can acquire, but they're generally the things you need in order to lead your business, lead your team forward. So if you want to understand the original video where we talk about the growth mindset of a business, the link is at the bottom of the page. And, and please refer to that and come back to that and this and compare the two. How is the business doing? How are you doing in terms of what the business needs? But in terms of the leadership traits, there's a number of them I'll list now and we'll go through them very quickly. Score yourself, see how you think you're doing and see what you can do to better. do better. And the first thing is to have an open mind. So the first trait, an open mind, be curious to the ideas of others, whether that's your team, whether that's the latest industry thinking, whether that's that's industry experts or or consultants, whether that's your competitors, your customers, your suppliers, but have an open mind, but don't just accept what these ideas are and what people say, be curious, understand more what is behind that thinking. So get deeper into the understanding of the latest thinking. That's the first thing, an open mind, a curious mind. The second thing is to continually search for personal and team improvement. Personal improvement, absolutely. Constantly look to improve yourself. But constantly look to improve not just the performance of the team, but how the team works together cohesively. Constantly search for that next incremental step. The third trait is to show strong situational leadership. So it's not just about being aware of what's happening, it's about demonstrating to your team that you are aware of what's happening and that you're taking the necessary steps to move you and the team forward. So that requires you to do your homework. It kind of goes back a little bit to the open-minded attitude, constantly expanding your understanding. But situational awareness is about accepting what is happening, what is changing, and not being afraid to do things differently. Yeah, we've always done it this way. Well, this time we're going to do it this way. Don't be afraid. Okay. And that leads on to the, to the fourth one, which is a mantra from a, from a lot of, of, of leaders, which is get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So don't be afraid, as I said, to do things differently. Embrace uncertainty. 
but in embracing uncertainty take the team with you do not lead the charge and have them drag along behind you you have to take them with you if you're uncomfortable if it is an uncertain step you're taking share that with the team let them know you're uncomfortable let them know that you're uncertain but tell them that you are part of the team and you're going to move this forward move beyond your comfort zone and make sure others are okay with that and make sure that they are allowed to move beyond their comfort zone knowing that they have your support the next thing is to take ownership take ownership of yourself take ownership of your team what is it that you bring to the team what is it that the team can do without you? And taking ownership is sometimes about stepping back. Taking ownership is about making sure that the team works, the business works, the company works to go forward. And it's about resilience. So make sure that you take ownership. And if you fail, that's okay. Fail quickly, learn, move forward. And re respect also that sometimes taking ownership is sometimes good is not good enough. We can do better. Take ownership to set targets and objectives and set clear expectations, not just for the team and the business, but for yourself and share those expectations with your team. Grow as a team, grow together. The next leadership trait of a growth mindset business is about collaboration. If you collaborate well, the big opportunities get bigger and the challenges get smaller. Learn what people are good at. Learn what people are uncomfortable at and learn how to, to help them beyond that comfort zone. Learn that what everyone brings to the party is a complementary series of parts and how to maximise them as parts. So collaboration is important. And the last one is, is really about focus. And you'll often hear people say, focus, focus, focus. Focus is... It's not you, it's your team that counts. It's the company that counts. It's, it's the group of you that counts. You are a key part as a leader of that. You, are the, 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 you have to have trust in your team and they absolutely must trust you. But you're a coach, you're a mentor, but you're also a team player, you're a leader and good leaders are also know, also know when to be a good follower. And you're always learning from each other. So growth mindset business requires growth mindset leadership traits, being open-minded, looking for personal and team improvement, being situationally aware and being comfortable with, with how to deal with that, taking ownership and collaborating and growing together with a clear vision and a clear focus for the future. If this has been useful, then please watch the growth mindset for business video as well. And I'm sure you'll find the two very, very helpful together. Um, we're all about growth at Mission 23 and if you need some help with your growth, whether that's the team, you or your leadership traits, we're more than happy to come and help you. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.